From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. It's another News 19 weather impact alert day. Starting this afternoon through the overnight hours, heavy rainfall could lead to some flash flooding, so pay close attention to the weather around you today and tomorrow. It does look like Friday the weather will improve, so Debbie's moving pretty slowly at this point. Do expect two more days of heavy rainfall. That does include today and Thursday. There will be the possibility for impassable roadways. So you never want to drive or walk through flooded areas. Have a plan. And if you are told to evacuate, do it immediately. Stay away from down power lines and avoid contact with flood waters. Yesterday we did pick up over three inches of rain at the Columbia Metropolitan Airport. Broke the old record of two and 58 hundredths. That was set back in 1987. A lot of rain in the southern half of the Midlands, nearly three inches in Sumter, over five inches in Orangeburg, over three inches in Manning. We'll pick up on these rainfall totals or at least add on to these rainfall totals over the next couple of days. Here's the 5 a.m. advisory for Tropical Storm Debbie, 65 miles south southeast of Charleston, moving very slowly towards the east at about five miles per hour. The winds have picked up just a little bit, 45 miles per hour with gusts up to 60. It's going to kind of pick up some speed as we go towards the end of the work week and certainly into the weekend, but it is expected to make another landfall somewhere along the South Carolina coast, probably early Thursday morning and then start to move generally towards the north as it will continue to weaken, become a tropical depression. It looks like Friday. Here are the spaghetti models for Tropical Storm Debbie. Pretty good consensus here and you will notice the cone of uncertainty has shrunk since yesterday. Water vapor image showing some dry air moving in. That is great news, but it's going to be short lived. So even though the rain may not be as heavy this morning as we go into later today, two, three o'clock this afternoon, we do expect these rainfall totals to increase as those heavy downpours continue to spread across the Midlands and the Palmetto State. And you'll notice those rain chances will increase, especially the farther north you go. Late Thursday, late tomorrow night, rain chances will start to decrease and you'll notice Friday morning we'll have a little bit of sunshine. As of right now, we do have a small chance of rain in the forecast for early Friday, but we may have to get rid of it because this system appears to be gaining some speed towards the end of the work week. For this evening and tonight, rain chances will increase. We'll have that opportunity for some flash flooding. The flash flood watch does continue until early Friday morning for most of the Midlands. This is Thursday morning, still heavy downpours impacting parts of South Carolina. 11.45 a.m. on Thursday, rain chances start to decrease as the system lifts more towards the north. And then as we look ahead towards Friday morning, do believe we'll start to get a little bit of sunshine as we'll start to dry out just a touch. Mentioned it, just that small chance of rain very early in the day on Friday. European forecast model shows the rain on Thursday. Drying conditions on Friday. Can't rule out a pop-up shower or thunderstorm Saturday or Sunday. That would be more of your typical summertime-like pattern. American forecast model showing small chance of rain early in the day on Friday, but dry or basically dry on Saturday and Sunday. As of right now, we do have a small chance for a pop up shower or thunderstorm both Saturday and Sunday. We could pick up an additional heavy amount of rain in the eastern half of the Midlands, but the farther you go towards the west, those rainfall totals do decrease. So an additional four to five inches possible in the eastern half of the Midlands. Mentioned this earlier, those rainfall totals, at least potential totals, do drop the farther you go towards the west. Newberry Saluda not in the flood watch, the rest of the Midlands under the flood watch. We're also watching the river flood warnings. The rivers will be rising over the next several days with all the rain that we've had across parts of South Carolina and the rain we're going to continue to get across South Carolina and North Carolina. Eastern half of the Palmetto State still under the gun for the possibility for five to seven inches over towards the PD and the Grand Strand. So a lot of rain still yet to fall as Debbie makes its way back onto land and bring some heavy downpours to parts of South Carolina. Moderate risk for flash flooding in the eastern half of the Midlands, high risk for flash flooding over towards the beach even on Thursday, but those rain chances will start to decrease Friday. Small chance for flash flooding early, early Friday morning. As we mentioned, does look like the weather is going to improve and no risk for flooding on Saturday. A flood watch does continue for most of the Palmetto State until Friday morning. Tropical storm warning still in effect for the coastal region of South Carolina. 
Over towards the Grand Strand, storm surge watch in effect as Debbie is going to make its way back on shore at some point tomorrow morning. Tropical storm force wind gusts, small chance in the eastern half of the Midlands, as you would expect those tropical storm winds a lot higher, at least the opportunity a lot higher along the coastal region of South Carolina. Air temperatures today, low to mid 80s, so we're running a little bit below normal. That's certainly good news. Lows tonight dropping back down into the mid to low 70s. Here's our seven day forecast. News 19 weather impact days both today and tomorrow. Weather improves on Friday, looking ahead towards the weekend. Small chance of rain. Saturday, Sunday, maybe an isolated shower or storm, and then a small chance of rain on Tuesday. Rip currents, high risk along the coastal region. So if you are going to be heading to the beach over the next few days, dangerous and potentially life threatening rip currents are possible along the beach, along with those possible flooding condition conditions. Temperatures for Myrtle Beach generally around 80 degrees this afternoon. Showers and storms likely. Weekend, just scattered showers and storms, kind of your typical summertime like pattern. Charleston, basically the same weekend forecast. And in the upstate, mainly sunny on Saturday, small chance of rain on Sunday for Greenville. So far, we've had four named storms. Obviously, we still do have Debbie out there. Debbie was a category one storm, and we're watching this area as it moves generally towards Central America. Hurricane Center only gives us a very small chance of further development over the next several days. 8 to 14 days out, small chance for slightly cooler than normal conditions for parts of South Carolina. The rest of South Carolina appear to be close to normal and our rainfall amounts should be close to normal during that same time frame. Something to kind of look forward to. College football only 24 days away. I know I'm excited about that. Labor Day only 26 days away. The fall equinox 46 days from today. And you can always follow me on these social media outlets, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and X. Have a great day.